21st February 2019. This is the mayor, entire 10 years old. She's a cross Matisse. Okay. Now this this dog was a very hungry dog and was eating a lot of the food, any food, fat, any meat uh, for some two years after he was found abandoned. And as you can see, he has already put a lot of weight and uh, there's an abdominal distension. More prominently, on this side you can see there, this side distended, more towards the right, but uh, uh, from the top you can see distension, and this part is slightly distended. Okay, for the past one week, he came in because he stopped eating. Now we have the x-ray first, we see the x-ray, now we see the x-ray, uh, focus on it. Now, the x-ray will show that this dog really had a big liver or possibly a fatty liver and you see the edges are blunt and rounded no? normally the liver will be up to this up to here and it's a sharp really sharp edge but this one is round and blunt margins no? and it extends beyond the costal arch costal arch is here it extends beyond the costal arch so this is definitely a swollen liver, it's called hepatomegaly. Okay, so this x-ray shows the liver is enlarged. Now whether it is fatty liver or liver tumor, it's hard to tell, but you can see the heart is enlarged also. The bladder is always filled with urine because the dog is thirsty, or we have given drip as well. Now, the, the other view, uh, the other view, the ventral dorsal view, Now when it also, you can see the heart is abnormal in shape and there's fluid in the lungs. Huh? The heart is considered enlarged. Now the main thing is this liver. The liver is enlarged and it pushes upwards towards the, the heart area. And you can see the stomach this is normal. The stomach, is, the spleen is normal. The bladder is filled with urine. So the main thing is the liver. The liver is enlarged. Now we just look at the you got everything in so that they can read the they can read the whole thing that the liver has rounded and blunt margins extends beyond the costal arch but on the ventral dorsal view is not so uh, obvious huh? it's not so obvious okay the spleen is here normal but if you see the other view it's very obvious it's extended beyond the costal arch let's see where the costal arch because of the fat, fatness of the dog, you can't see clearly the, the arch, eh? but it should be here. It should be here. So it's extended up to here and it's rounded. The spleen is also covered, you can't see the spleen. Spleen is normal in shape. But the stomach, normally the stomach comes down a bit. Yeah? But the stomach is also compressed. So the dog might be not eating now because of the stomach. Now the dog has been panting for two years, snoring until the, the apartment upstairs can hear it at night, especially according to the owner. That's because of the enlarged heart and the fluid in the lungs. That's why the lungs is not uh, not clear, not black. The air is not black, you see. And uh, after giving Prusimite, according to the owner, the dog stops panting, as you can see there. Yeah? Okay, we finish up. Huh? No more snoring at night. You can see it's, it's a really, uh, uh, they have sufficient sleep. Now before I forget, the blood test shows the liver enzymes have uh, increased. Eh? 339 units per litre as compared to 59. That is uh, another uh, supporting test to get the x-ray. Eh? Now the cholesterol level, which you can see actually the total cholesterol is 11.9 which is very high because normally it should be 3 to 6.6 triglycerides is 1.2 which is within the, the normal range so that is not the main thing, main thing is the cholesterol now the dog was very hungry uh, for the last 
one 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 and a half years, just simply eats what, whatever the owner eats and ask for more. Now this dog will have a very good appetite. Some dogs are, are very uh, very uh, greedy, uh, greedy. Nothing wrong, but they love to eat. This is probably one of those dogs that love to eat, and uh, unfortunately, it becomes. They become sick probably due to fatty liver. Now fatty liver is is one of the conditions when when the dog is fat, too much food carry the too much uh, too much food and becomes very fat. Now you can see it's really very fat and 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 it has difficulty in breathing. So you still have some some skin disease as well here. Skin disease here. Yeah. This one I think. But this one affects appetite. It just says it simply loses appetite recently. Now whether it's due to the rotten teeth or not, there's one possibility or so, but come to the way first. But it shouldn't be the cause of it. Huh? The sudden loss of appetite, you see the teeth is really I think this dog should be more than uh, more than 12, 13 years old. Okay. So in conclusion, conclusion this dog has stopped eating, but the cause will be the liver liver uh, enlargement, fatty liver or liver damage. So don't feed your dog various fats and and food, fatty food. Now this dog had a diet, a fatty a fish diet. The owner complained of a fishy smell of the urine. That's because the dog has been fed. A diet which contains many fish. It's a fish diet, quite popular or quite commonly sold by one pet shop in Singapore. But this dog being so greedy, he eats a lot, anything. So it doesn't discriminate, the more the merrier. So this could be the reason that uh, he developed fatty, fatty liver. Now it's lucky there's no jaundice. You can see there's no jaundice. Very clear, his, his sclera, it's, there's no yellowish, yellowish uh, discoloration. Uh. Overall, he definitely has no skin, no ear, ear disease. No ear infection. Okay, so now the owner has to feed him a special diet called the uh, Hughes uh, KD diet, and uh, it's likely he has fatty liver disease, which uh, whether it can be cured or not, that, that depends on how 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 uh, severe it is. So we shall stop for now today. But the twenty first February two zero one. Eight. This Shih Tzu is probably more than 10 years old. It's, it's a more Shih Tzu cross. And uh, this one we have really done uh, a lot of uh, examination. The urine was tested to be normal. There were no normalities, abnormalities, except that the pH is 8, right? And uh, the urine is very dilute. Yeah, it's very dilute. Okay, we stop now.